Hey guys, I just read something on Facebook that just got me boiling. And the question was, what do you do to help a woman who's angry? Like what should the response be for an angry woman? And um, so many people said chocolate or give her wine or take her out to, to food, take her out somewhere, you know, to a nice restaurant or something. Um, someone also said, tell her to be, to, to be calm, <laughs> to relax. Oh yeah. See what happens when you tell an angry woman to be calm and relax. That will never happen. <laughs> that just makes us angrier. So let me just tell you what does diffuse the majority of women. The first rule, listen, be quiet listen to what she has to say. And this actually goes for anyone who's angry. Really, it's energy inside of our bodies that needs to come out. We need to release it. We're like volcanoes that like need to have that energy come out. And sometimes it comes out through our mouth, right? Um, and sometimes, you know, you just want to have like a punching bag or something. Um, some people run. There's many different ways of of letting this energy out, but we need to let the energy of anger out of our bodies. Because if we hold on to this energy, it causes all sorts of problems in our bodies. So we could get chest pains and different physical ailments that happen when we hold anger. Um, and, um, and you do not want her to hold her anger, trust me. You want her to yell, you want her to let it out. So sit and listen, because if she holds her anger, it is like a volcano and you just never know when it's going to explode. And when it explodes, it will wreak havoc. It will be awful. So and you just never know. I mean, some people, you know, they just take, take, take all of this anger, all of this energy, and then they explode and that's it. There's no coming back from that. Um, some people, they let it out little by little. And when they do, um, that allows them to kind of like maintain an equilibrium and consistency within our bodies because our bodies are not meant to hold emotion, emotion, energy in motion. Emotions are supposed to move. They're supposed to have motion and have the energy is supposed to move through us. Our bodies are a vessel to allow emotion to pass through. Um, every emotion that we have is fleeting. It is not going to stay with us. No matter how mad we are, if we let that anger out, we won't continue to be mad at the same level as we were at one time. So stop and listen, hold space for her. Um, you could ask what you could do to support her and help her once she's let most of it out. You can apologize if there is something that you need to apologize for. Um, you can ask if she needs a hug once all of it is done. So you can just say, is there any more? Is there anything else? Um, you want to be as agreeable as possible. If there's nothing that you have done that you need to apologize for, then you just sit and you listen and you let her let it out, right? And hopefully, you know, the burst, the majority of the energy of that strong, powerful energy is short because if she's given the opportunity to let it out, it doesn't take much to let this burst of energy out and we need to let people do it. And depending on what a person has done will depend on the level of energy that comes out. It's usually equal, right? It's usually like, you know, if you did something really, really bad, then her energy might be really, really bad, really strong. Or if it's not strong at all, that is the most dangerous, most dangerous time. A woman who does not talk when she is angry has kind of given up and usually is come to the point where um, the feeling for you isn't there anymore. So anger is actually a good sign. It means she still cares. It means there's still energy there. There's still emotion. We want to let that emotion be in motion. 
Um, try to end it with a hug. Try to ask, you know, um, what can I do to support you? How can I help you? But for the most part, just stay quiet and listen and be there for her. And that will um, really let her feel like you're there for her, that you respect her, that you can hold space for her, um, that you can be her man or her friend, her best friend, her parent, right? In parenting, this is super important as well. So anyways, um, I just want to end these um, these videos now. Now that I have a little bit more time, I love that TikTok and um, Instagram have increased the, the time because I love um, really saying these things with the amount of language that I need. But um, in my, on my YouTube channel, I used to end every um, video with saying, I see you, I hear you, I am here for you, and I love you. And I do. And I just want you to know that. So I'll see you next time.